Hi guys, it's Mary. I'm a wellness advocate for Dutura, and we had talked about lavender. So I thought it'd be really cool to do a sugar scrub for you guys with lavender. So the sugar scrub itself is going to take off all that nasty, lovely, dry skin we get in the winter time and show that beautiful layer underneath. Now, if you combine that with the lavender, remember we talked about how great it was for the skin. <clears throat> So if you put your lavender in the body scrub I'm showing you today, it's really gonna help if you have any red blotchy skin. It'll help prevent or decrease eczema or acne. So, and it's really simple, simple recipe, guys. All you need is Epsom salt, or you can use Himalayan salt. Really cheap to get, I got a big old bag. You're gonna need fractionated coconut oil. You're of course gonna need your lavender oil. And then you're gonna need coconut oil and it comes in a solid form. So you have to melt it up and we will get to that. And that's really all you're gonna need for the sugar scrub. So let us get started. So first you melt your coconut oil. And like I said, it's gonna be in solid form. You can do that in a microwave. Just be careful, please don't burn yourselves, okay? And once you have it, you just dump it in. And you're going to add a quarter fractionated coconut oil. They are two different things. Coconut oil, and then you divide fractionated coconut oil. And you put that in. And then after that, we are going to... Sorry, you guys, i got to look at my recipe. We are going to add one cup of the Epsom salt, or if you choose the Himalayan salt, whichever is your thing. And we just plop it in a bowl. And then kind of stir it up. It's going to be kind of liquidy when you first start, so don't worry about that. We're actually going to later put it in the fridge and cool it down. So once you've stirred it and you want it to really combine... So, and you're still going to see some separation, but I'll kind of bring bring it to the camera and let you guys kind of see how you how it should look. I kind of call it kind of a quicksand consistency. So I'm going to bring up my daughter's kind of going to show you kind of what it looks like. See how it kind of slosh is still kind of separated, and that's okay. Okay. So once you get that done, you're going to put 10 drops. You're not going to see it very well, but you'll see it if you buy the oil. Of your essential oil in there, okay? And you're going to smell it once you put it in. So now you guys are going to see just how well I do this. Because I am going to have to put this in the fridge. And then you have to stir it about every 10 minutes till it cools down. So we're going to see how well Mary does the power of editing. So I'm going to leave that there right now because I'm going to show you another really cool recipe. And then hopefully open the fridge and you'll see this magical clip afterwards that shows a beautiful coconut scrub. So this I kind of want to do because it's a really simple recipe. And we have one called Cobaya. I have to get that right. My rep would kill me. And it's really good for inflammation and pain. And it actually activate, activates the same receptors as a CBD oil. However, this comes from a plant in Brazil. From a tree from Brazil. Um, so it's not... THC is not CBD oil. It's a totally different um, item, but it does help with pain inflammation, same way as CBD does. So all you have to do with this is we've all, well, heard, maybe not done, but had Epsom baths or Epsom soaks. Like if you have a sprain, a doctor will tell you to rinse an Epsom soak if you have a sprained foot. So it's just a cup. And then you take this magical oil. And that's again, this is 15 drops. 
I'm gonna see if I can count to 15. No, you guys don't. I might not, you never know. And then all you're gonna do is stir this into your salt. That's all you do. That's done. Then you can pour it in a nice container, anyone. They're really easy to find some online. Put it in a nice container. And now you have a beautiful soak for if you have back problems. This would be great to soak in in a bath after a day, you know, where you're, you've been doing stuff with your back and it's aching. Good for sprain strain, sprain your ankle, so soaking in this and it'll help decrease your inflammation which causes pain and also helps decrease the pain from the receptors. Because inflammation and pain are slightly two separate things. Inflammation comes from damage to your tissues in your body, etc. And that inflammation will cause signals to be sent to your brain for pain. And that's all kind of pain is. It's kind of a message from different receptors. We won't get all crazy. And then you have, you can have, be in pain and not have any inflammation. It just, your brain says that hurts. And you perceive that you have pain. So, great thing. Quick, we made in how long? One minute, you guys, and it could decrease your pain. I mean, what? She, might as well try it. Ain't gonna hurt anything, right? So, one of my favorite recipes. I love it. So, if I'm successful, you guys will see me in a wonderful edited video with this coconut scrub done. And uh, I hope to see you later. Bye bye. Guys, Mary again. We had started doing a lavender body scrub. So, if you see part two when I post this, it was an epic fill. I tried to edit, and I'm barely not so good at it. <laughs> so, after you get it all mixed, you want to put it in the fridge. And I showed you kind of what it looks like before you put it in the fridge. Now, you're gonna let it cool down for about five minutes and then you're gonna go whisk it and check it. And then you're gonna put it back in the fridge if you don't like the consistency. For another five minutes, you're gonna check it. When you get it to the consistency you like, you're done, then you can jar it. Now realize, which I found out guys, it'll thicken up a little bit more when you leave it out of the fridge when you found the consistency you want so you want to get it out of the fridge just a little before it gets as thick as you want it because I will show you what happens if you forget it becomes a almost solid mass I mean I'm thinking you could probably just have somebody make tons of this stuff and then when people need to walk across the river they can use it that way we get the people that really shouldn't be handling any fine equipment. They have a job to do. They could sit here and just make it and plop it in for all of us to cross the rivers without getting our shoes wet. I think that might be a good idea. If you do it right, it's going to come out like this consistency. Now realize this is oil, so you do have to kind of mix it a little bit before you use it. You can also, if you like it a little thicker, just leave it in for a little longer in the fridge. You want it even more liquidy, take it out sooner. So this batch, like I said, I checked it in the fridge every five minutes and it took about 15 minutes to really cool down to where I liked it, which is right here. And then you just, you can find jars anywhere. This is an eight ouncer. So you just go online or go to a craft store and find a nice jar and pop it in and you now have your own body scrub. It is a little more oily than you would get if you bought it from the store. But the oils we're using are good for your skin. So that's really not a problem. And it's more natural and I think all better. So thank you so much for your time. Next DIY we're gonna make soap. 
so that'll be a lot of fun and either really great or you guys will get a really good laugh at a final product. I'm hoping really good. Bye-bye.